Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit unscripted this time. Just kind of show you a few things that we've been working on inside the editor. Um, go through each thing individually, kind of give you an idea. Some of the things that are that you'll be able to do. Um, I think right now we'll start off with uh, kind of a weather system. Right now it just includes rain and some thunder and lightning. Um, but you'll get a sense of where things are going and what, what you can kind of do. So I'll just jump right in and uh, kind of give a, a quick rundown of the different pieces parts and then I'll show it to you all kind of working together. Um, the rain system is a collection of a few different blueprints. Um, those that have been paying attention to Unreal Engine 4 will, will kind of see uh, what you can do with blueprints, but uh, they're very powerful and you can do lots of different things with them. Um, the way that this particular system works is we have a uh, rain actor that I created and it is up here uh, right there and basically what happens is when you build a map you put this rain actor in um, and it opens up different properties as we see over here um, inside of this actor we are saying in the map that we wanted it to have rain or not have rain. We have distant thunder, which is basically thunder and lightning in the clouds, but uh, no lightning strikes nearby. Um, thunder lightning, which is a uh, lightning strike which is nearby that uh, will light up the sky, uh, the area around you. And then rain effects. Um, and rain effects are specific effects you can place in the map when it's raining. And a couple examples of those I have here are basically uh, runoff, rain runoff off of the um, off of the roof here. And you can move those around anywhere you want. They in turn have their own settings. Um, so I guess since we're on here we'll look at those first. Um, basically for rain we have light, medium, and heavy. And uh, for each of the rain effects we just tell it what what time or what, what levels of those rain is this effect available. And this particular one is in light and medium and heavy rain. Then we'll also allow you to preview it uh, real time. If I unselect it, then you'll be able to see it. So there's the rain uh, runoff effect. Um, and then you can see where if I, uh, it's easier to see with when it's highlighted with the yellow. If I say it's not in heavy, then basically it gets a little bit lighter and in just light it's even lighter itself and the way that's done in the effect itself the different emitters are light medium and heavy and it's basically just turning them on and off so any of the effects as long as you have a light medium and heavy emitter within it uh, will be controlled by uh, those settings so we'll just turn those back on and we'll go to the actual rain uh, let's turn off the preview Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go into uh, the map here just on its own, kind of how it is, and look around so you get an idea of what just the basic map would be like. All right, and you also notice that there's eye adaptation as well. So when you uh, will come over here and when you look at the light, you, your eyes adjust to that light. Then when you look away, it seems really dark. And as your eyes adjust to the darkness, then you'll <clears throat> you'll be able to see uh, a little bit better. So that's something that's in there uh, in all the maps. It's pretty neat. Um, oh, before I show you the rain, we also have uh, your handy tactical light. Operates pretty much like you think it would. Okay, so now what we're going to do is have we have our rain actor selected and I'm going to show you each individual part. So we'll start with the distant thunder. Um, again, that is the thunder that's in the sky, uh, the, uh, the lightning that's in the clouds, something that's off in the distance. Um, we also have a minimum and maximum setting for time and that's basically just a random value within these uh, parameters. 
So just for demonstration, we'll we'll set this to four, uh, minimum of four seconds and six seconds. Well, I'll change it to eight, so you can kind of get a sense of it. So now, when we're in the map, we have distant thunder, and you'll see the sky light up with lightning, and hear the thunder. One thing that I don't have hooked up at the moment are uh, the clouds changing based on our settings. Um, we'll get to that as well as wind. Uh, we're going to be integrating Speedtree um, again. So uh, with their new announcement, their licensing model opens the door for uh, small developers like us. And with that will be a lot, uh, a lot better wind and a lot more specific uh, wind effects to the, to the trees and the bushes and the foliage. Um, so once that's in there, then we'll have all the wind and cloud settings hooked up. So now we'll take a look at um, the, uh, the main thunder and lightning. And we'll set uh, 6 and 10 seconds will probably be okay. So we'll wait for one. And the lightning strikes are uh, basically a random distance offset um, from the rain actor that we place in the map. So it's not going to be the same lightning strike every time. We'll raise our weapon up so we can get a little better view of what happens. Another thing you'll notice is that the eye adaptation uh, works with the lightning strike. So when you get a big flash of light uh, or lightning, the screen goes bright and then uh, the uh, darkness again. Do one more. There. Okay. And then the rain effects, as I showed you before, are the placeable effects. Um, in this case, it's rain runoff. Don't mind the footstep sounds or placeholder. So we have rain runoff off of the uh, the um, the roof there. So the way that this is hooked up is if we had um, no rain whatsoever checked, then there would be no effects. Um, if we have the rain effects checked and the rain checked, uh, then the effects will play based off of the rain amount setting that's, that's set. Heavier rain, uh, the rain effects play more, less, they play less. And this is all pre-set up, um, and then based off of this one setting, or these couple settings in the rain actor, the entire map will react to it. So what we'll do is we'll turn everything on right now. Um, we'll do with a light rain. We'll do our distant thunder a little bit. We'll go back to uh, 10 and 14. So we're not getting thunder and lightning all the time. And this is a light rain. So then we'll just change our rain amount value here up to a medium rain. Okay. Uh, how that works. And again, the uh, the, the wind effects will, uh, the wind effects will come in um, come in next. This is still And we'll do a heavy ring. And it might be hard to tell in the video, but there's also kind of a mist uh, that's going through as well. Kind of driving rain 
uh, feel to it. You kind of see it when the lightning goes off. And another thing that we're going to be adding is uh, a raindrop overlay and a wet overlay. And basically what that will do is for all the materials in the, um, in the map, they will have a property for wetness and rain. And uh, depending on uh, how much rain has gone, uh, that um, parameter will, will blend in with the textures. Um, again, that's a work in progress that we haven't gone to that quite yet. So that's it for the rain system. Um, again, it's a work in progress. Everything's going to be iterated on and made better as we go. Thank you for continuing to follow us and for your support.